Hello guys, I'm Nazmul Hassan and today I'm going to calibrate this Vector Network Analyzer. This is an Agilent E8364B Network Analyzer and this can measure 50 GHz of frequency as you can see right there. And we need a calibration kit to calibrate these two ports of VNA. This is the first port and this is the second port. So let's see the calibration kit. Well, this is the calibration kit. This model number is 85052D and it's manufactured by Agilent Technologies. Let's open this up. So uh, we will actually use these three calibration kits along with this through Cal kit. <clears throat> you can see the first one is uh, basically open circuit standard and the second one is short and the third one is drop and load and this one is a through cal kit basically this model of cal kit can calibrate from DC to 26 gigahertz so basically what to do we connect these three standard with the port of the VNA one by one and measure the standard and calibrate accordingly. We will see it in a while. So let's start the calibration process. Well now you can see that I have connected the open standard with port 1 uh, with nothing connected to port 2. Now I will open the calibration wizard to start the calibration process. So let's do that. All right, now let's uh, start the calibration process. Go to calibration wizard and make sure you select the smart cal along with this option being enabled. All right, let's press it to next. And from the port one, select APC 3.5 mel connector. For the port two, select the same setting. Press next. And from this menu, we will select uh, the model number for our calibration kit. As you have seen already, that the model number is this. Also select the same for port 2. Press next. Alright, now it asks for, asks for 3.5 mm mil open to port 1. I have already connected the open standard to port 1, so just press measure. And now it's asking for connection of the short standard to port 1. So just connect the short standard to port 1 and press measure. So let's connect the short standard to port 1. Alright, I have connected uh, the short standard to port 1. Uh, and there is nothing still connected to port 2. Now, from here, click Measure. And this time, it is asking for connection of the broadband load to port 1. So let's remove the short standard from port 1 and connect the broadband load to port 1. Well, I've connected the broadband load to port 1, and still there is nothing connected to port 2. So since the port 1 is connected to broadband load standard, so just press measure. Alright, now we have finished the port 1. Now the port 2 is starts. Now it is asking for the connection of open standard to port 2. So let's remove the standard from port 1 and connect the open standard to port 2. Alright, I have removed the standard from port 1 and I've connected the uh, open standard to port 2 so as uh, I've already connected the uh, open standard to port 2 just press measure now this time we'll connect the short to port 2 
okay I've connected the short standard to port 2 so we will just press the measure button right press measure and this time the last one we will connect the broadband load to port 2 okay so let's do that okay so I've connected the broadband load to port 2 so let's press the measure button So let's press measure. Okay, the last one. We have to connect the true standard and we have to connect the port 1 and port 2 both. So uh, this is the true standard. At one terminal we will connect the port 1 and another terminal will connect with the port 2. Okay, as you can see I have connected the true calculate with the port 1 and port 2 so we will just press the measure button so let's press the measure okay so measurements done calibration is done So you can see S21 in dB scale, it's almost 0 dB, which corresponds to perfectly, uh, I mean, perfectly done calibration. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any question, you can leave the question in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Thank you.